Yo, what's good, guys? Your boy Jason JV here. Yeah, shooting a uh, a display update video. I guess we can call it. Uh, as you can see, I got a little scheme over there hanging out with uh, you know his little his little animal pals right there. We got the uh, the white tiger. That's actually uh, that was given to me from from my mom. Uh, I think like a couple of decades ago when they went to Vegas they brought back that plushy uh, white tiger it's actually a beanbag so some of him like mostly like his body is like a beanbag so yeah so it was pretty easy to kind of just squish him in there with a little scheme uh, in, in the top cubby here now you're probably wondering well what's holding that bottom section there because it looks like you have little white caps on the other sections here yeah I, I kind of ran out of you know the little clips that are supposed to go there so I'm actually using um, wired, um, like, uh, what do you call them, like, um, wired wraps, I guess you will, you know, those, those, those uh, tie wraps, you know what I mean, to kind of hold that together, so that's why it's not, you know, bottoming out from underneath, um, but yeah, so yeah, that's what's holding that all together, you know what I mean, and at least just in the front, I mean, it's got it, it's got the clips in the back and everything, so it is, it is supported, that, that's not going anywhere. And you can see below them, I got Batman and Batwoman with Commissioner Gordon. We got the bat signal right there. And uh, yeah, I got a couple of the shelves for this this new bookcase. I kind of put them there to kind of give these guys a solid foundation. And then another Batman display down here. We got the Target exclusive Funko Pop. We got my, um, that was also a Target exclusive uh, Batman figure, 10 inch Batman figure. And then yeah, we got the alternate um, cowl head sculpt right there. And then we got my custom red and black Batman uh, sitting on the uh, the bat skeleton chopper there looking freaking badass another little display that I'm working on there we got the uh, Tom McFarlane Wonder Woman Tom McFarlane designed Wonder Woman with the uh, Batman from the three Jokers uh, story arc and then here's where things get a little different because of this bookcase you know what I mean as you can see the Horror display is a little bit different. We got my three uh, Pennywises right there from various phases of the movie. And then we got uh, Wes Craven's new Nightmare Freddy sitting next to Chucky there. And then, of course, we got the two uh, Michael Myers we got from, from Part 2, 1981's Part 2, Halloween 2, over there on that side. And then we got, you know, H 2018 Mikey on this side. And then, of course, we got H2018 Laurie Stroh there in the middle. You know what I mean? With the Judith Meyer uh, headstones. And then, of course, we got the corresponding jack-o'-lanterns. And then over here, we have uh, my Friday the 13th setup here. We got from Part 2 to Part 3 to Part 4, Jason Voorhees. And then right above them, uh, the two figures from Part 5. And then, of course, Part 6 which is Jason Lives, and then we got the Nightmare on Elm Street boiler room set up there. We got the boiler with my two Freddies. Um, the Freddy that's in the middle is uh, from part two, and then the one on the far left, he's um, from part one. And then we got my other horror display here. We got my two Jason Voorhees' uh, 2009 remake, uh, Freddy vs. Jason, Jason. And then we got more Pennywise's. We got the two Tim Curry ones back there. And then we got another Bill Skarsgård back there. And then over here, I kind of updated my, my Ren and Stimpy display. As you can see, we got Ren and Stimpy up front with Muddy Mud Skipper and Stimpy's Nose Goblins just kind of, you know, smiling, hanging out. Not aware of what's going on behind them. We got the Joker alien figure. And, and then, of course, a couple of more of the Bill Skarsgård Pennywise's. You know what I mean? Uh, looking to uh, attack Ren and Stimpy. I, I don't care what y'all say, man. That, that display is funny because, you know, the two dudes up front, they don't know what's going on behind them. My autographed Power Ranger helmets. And then I kind of updated my, my Batmobile display. As you can see, we got the animated series Batmobile in the background. And then we got the two figures up front. Uh, that Batman, uh, I can get my finger. Okay, there we go. Uh, this Batman right here is um, from DC Directs. Uh, this was based on the version of Batman from the Arkham Asylum video game. And that cape he's wearing, he did not come with that. That's actually a custom wired cape um, that I got from an eBay seller who goes by the name of Batgirl31. 
um, if you're into you know collecting Batman figures or really any figures that have capes uh, go check out her eBay store once again she goes by Batgirl31 <clears throat> I believe it's all one word and uh, yeah and she does and she makes fantastic capes you know what I mean I, I'm glad I got that cape for him and actually I got that cape by accident I thought that that was a black cape because I ordered that for another Batman figure Turns out it was a dark blue cape, and I figured, okay, well, we'll put on the Arkham Asylum one, and we'll display him with the animated series Batmobile, since both um, the Arkham Asylum version of Batman and the animated series Batman was voiced by none other than Kevin Conroy, and then uh, she also had the uh, the Batgirl wire cape that this Batgirl figure is sporting, so I went ahead and got this for this figure, so that way I can display her with her grapnel gun, and yeah, kind of play around with the, uh, the posability of the wire cape. Which I think looks fan flipping tastic. you know what I mean? Really, really adds to, you know, the whole look and feel of, you know, her trying to use that grapple gun to spring into action. And then just Batman standing there, you know what I mean? With that, that look and feel of like the wind just blowing his cape out, you know what I mean? Just, yeah looks pretty dope I think oh and then uh, a new piece in the display hanging up on the wall as you can see I got the letter J with the Joker there I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do this on camera but it's one of those things where yeah there you go see how it, it changes yeah here let me get my finger out of the shot so it won't be so blurry yeah it's one of those pictures where if you turn it a certain way, you know what I mean, it, it changes. And yeah, my brother, he actually got that from uh, from a Hobby Lobby uh, shop here. Uh, so, uh, not here where I am. I mean, he lives he lives a little further away from us. So yeah, he got it like nearby his neck of the woods and everything. But yeah, that, that is dope. And uh, he was trying to find uh, a V for Venom. Which would have been dope. That way I could have done, you know, the JV, you know what I'm saying? That, that would have been fire with Joker and Venom. Yeah. But oh well. It's alright. If anything, I could probably get it myself. It's all good. So yeah, guys, this is just an updated video on on the uh, displays here. This back wall right here. Uh, I'm probably going to post this on both the main channel and the second channel. Speaking of which, I got to do a WWE 2K uh roster update video yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get at that and until then oh and i also have a ryan up church vlog video that i need to react to as well it's an update from the previous one i did a reaction for so yeah so yeah y'all let me know if you're digging this let me know if you're not you know what i mean maybe you have some suggestions as to, as to how i can arrange things or whatever and uh i'll take it to a great deal of consideration oh real quick before i go so yeah, this has been updated as well. Some of the little the, the little shelves, I had some extra shelves left over because obviously I won't be able to display anything behind my sofa bed. So I went ahead and I made this little like lifted display area for the for the uh, the yeah, Power Ranger enemy display. You know what I'm saying? We got Lord Zed and Rita, of course. You know, up on that platform. And then we got the two evil pink ranger soldiers, you know what I'm saying, on either side of them. And of course, we got Draken right here, right behind him. We got Pumpkin Rapper, and then we have my uh, custom gold variant Lord Zed right there. And then the two Pumpkin Putties, Goldar, evil red ranger with the silver shield, evil black ranger. You know what I mean? That's black and silver. So, yeah, other than that. And then, yeah, kind of clean up the top of this shelf here. You know what I mean? So that way, I can just have everything kind of like over here properly displayed. So, yeah. So, yeah, just a bit of an update there. All right, y'all. We'll go ahead and get these two videos knocked out. So until then, it's your boy, Jason JVs, and y'all take care. Have a blessed one. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.